Hello, in this video, we will custom design and build these high powered RGB LED pathway lights from scratch. These lights will be part of our solar powered outdoor lighting system. So be sure to check out the link to the video at the end. Let's get started. We start the build by designing our lights in 3D using Fusion 360. Since this will be a pathway light, we want most of the illumination pointing downward and a domed housing will work best to spread the light. We size the dome around our 9 watt RGB LED and allow room for a heat sink on the back. Finally, we model in a ridge at the opening of the dome where we can add a plexiglass cover. We will mount the dome to a half inch EMT pipe that we will bend to create the arch design. The EMT will also be perfect for hiding all of our wiring by running the wires down the pipe into the ground and keeping them out of sight all the time. Okay, now that we have all the models exported, let's start printing. Each one takes about six hours to print. In this case, we don't need to use any supports since our final surface finish will be a rough metal look. Okay, so now that we have all of our prints printed out, we can start to uh, cover them. We're gonna cover them with a little bit of wood filler, Pro Bond here. Um, that way it gives them a little bit extra texture, it hides the 3D print lines, and it's gonna make them more metallic looking. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna kind of leave it a little bit rough when we spray paint it, um, so that it kind of has like this old metal kind of rusted feel a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's start uh, putting some of this on here. I'm just gonna use my hands just because we just want to spread it all on here. And because it's curved, it's going to be hard to use any kind of a, of a tool too much. And I'm going to put it on somewhat thick here just because we want to leave some of that texture. We want to cover up as much of the 3D print look in this case as we can. When we printed these, we didn't use any supports so there's a little bit of roughness around here where it gets really curved it still would have been really rough there even if we would have used supports so in this case it saves time to not use the supports saves filament as well and since we're going to cover a lot of this up anyways it doesn't matter really that we had supports on there anyways Okay, so now that we have this all covered, we just gotta let it dry and then we can sand it a little bit. Uh, we won't sand it too much because we wanna keep some of this kind of texture so it kind of looks like an old metal lamp. So we'll sand it a little bit once it's dry, but not too much. Okay, so now that we got these 3D printed pieces painted, kind of metallic, and you can still see some of the detail of the, of the coat that we put on them. So it still kind of looks a little bit rough, um, maybe a little bit more metallic there. So I kind of like the texture that we're getting. So let's go ahead and start to install the lights in these. Okay, so we're gonna use a heat sink like this because these LEDs are really high wattage, nine watts, and they put off a lot of heat. So we're gonna use kind of a big heat sink just to kind of dissipate the heat. And for like an added protection, I'm gonna add like a really small fan. It's very, it's very quiet and uses very little watts. Um, so you're not gonna hear it and it's just gonna be barely kind of running anyways, but it's just gonna be give a little bit of extra kind of cooling because these are kind of big, big lights. I'm probably not even going to run these at full power anyways, but it's better to be better to be safe and get them cooled. So let's go ahead and start building this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the fan installed here. On the inside, I've got a mount for the fan, and then I've got like a little uh, 
zip tie clip so that we could do some tensioning on the wires coming in and then this is where the plate is going to sit down onto. So here's our EMT pipe that we bent into this kind of candy cane shape and then we created a hole for the wire to come out the back and then the rest of this is gonna be like our stake in the ground. So really we're only gonna be sticking out from the ground about like this far. Um, the rest of this is just gonna go down in the ground. Uh, so let's go ahead and feed our wire in here. So for most of these, I'm just going to be running directly from one light to another without any connections in between, at least for now. Later on, I might add some connections in between. Um, but if you haven't, um, check out our video where we converted these lights off of Amazon to RGB LEDs. Uh, so check those, check out that video and you can see how we converted these lights. Um, so basically, I'm gonna come out of this light and then go directly into, into this one. Okay, so we can feed this wire up through the MT here now get fed up the back here. So this wire here is a 16 gauge uh, CL3 rated wire for direct burial. Okay, so we got our wires pulled through. We got the ones going in and then going back out as well. So what we can do now is connect our LED, our high wattage LED up to the lights here. So. This is gonna be the inside here. Okay, so I got one of my boxes that I use for our Christmas show. It's a, just a receiver box, but, so I can use the power out here to run this little ESP32 board, which has WLED on it. So I just need to find one of the power outputs here. 12 volts here. So I got a little watt meter on here as well, just so I can see how much power we're using. So we can connect this to the other end here. Okay, so we'll use WLED to turn this on. I've got my tester here, so let's power it on and turn up the brightness. So nice, we're getting, and we're getting power and data to our LED here, so that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the LED mounted to the heat sink now. We're gonna use a little bit of alcohol to clean the heat sink because we're gonna add a bit of thermal paste when we attach the board.
Okay, so now we're going to put in the plexiglass piece on the bottom here. So we can take off the backing. Please check out our other videos where we show how we make a DIY solar power box that runs these lights nightly. And we also have another video where we make Philips Hucala lights for only around $20. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.